Hey guys, Game of Stu here again, coming to you this week with a weekly report. So first off, UK residents can get 50% of the PS4 Pro with a deal at game. This is a trading deal and I recommend those in the UK try to cash in on it. The conditions are that it needs to be a 500GB or 1TB model in very good condition while also adding 5 game decks. FIFA 14 and 15 are not allowed for the game decks. Just remember that the PS4 Pro does not play most games at native 4K. Also, the Battlefield 1 beta was the most successful in EA's history and had more than 30 million players. The Battlefield 1 beta kicked off for PC, Xbox One and PS4 on August 31st and ran till September 8th. The beta included a Sanai Desert map and two game modes, Conquest and Rush. The Assault class was the most popular deployed class during the beta, followed closely by the Scout class. Other interesting things are that almost 29 melee kills were made in the week-long beta. Better players also seem to like killing with horses, since 6 to 2 million kills were made while riding a horse. Also, a rumor is surfacing around the GTX 1050. As with all rumors, please take it at face value till there are real facts. The rumor alleges that the launch date of the GTX 1050 is between 24 to 28th of October. This card is also expected in two variants, a 2GB and a 4GB model. The base model is expected to feature a price of $149. US This puts the price in between the RX 460 and the RX 470. The total power draw is also expected to be 75 watts. Again, Bioshock Remastered is a mess on PC. It's a very lazy port and I'm disappointed with 2K games. Graphical options in the PC port of Bioshock and Bioshock 2 Remastered are only limited to things like resolution, anti-aliasing, v-syncing and scoping filtering. That's even less than what the original versions had settings for. Options for things like texture, shadows and more are missing. There are also frame restarting game crashing and sound issues. Other problems are with lack of 5.1 surround sound options which were in the present game. I don't recommend anyone buy it till the issues get fixed. Finally, Valve has removed digital homicides games from Steam. The reason was for being hostile to Steam customers. Digital homicide sealed 100 anonymous Steam users for 18 million in response to comments no users made about the company and its games on Steam. For the record, I have never heard of any developers suing for negative reviews on their game and I think it's very odd. In addition to its release games being delisted, digital homicide Steam Greenland titles have also been removed. The only trace that remains is the community group, which is currently being beset by offensive comments. They have also sued Valve for removing their games. Guys, tell me what you think of this case in the comments below, since I think it's very funny. Subscribe for more content. And all the sources for the articles listed will be in the description. Thanks.